is my big sister. Over there. Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? You TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? Ah, uh, all right. No pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Sure. Great! Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? Yeah, so you've already met those two. <laughs> They're quite a pair. They always keep an eye out for the latest happenings and gossip about everything. I've never seen anyone with more time on their hands. I heard that they used to be a chef and a bartender before they were sent down here. You know how bartenders are, always chatting with customers. And chefs love to pass the time just hanging out when they're not cooking. Hmm, good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm, let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh, did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the Fortress of Meripede before? Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. To go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda respect that. A forbidden zone? Hmm, sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm, not that I can think of. But I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. Okay, we've talked to just about everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. See you later. Hey, let's play a game if you ever have time. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone.
Look in your eyes. You found something? Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. Oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all, and Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. He is a harbinger, after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. His escape route is already flooded, so we'll have to test someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremenet would be up to the task. Bingo! Is he around? He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. It's the least I can do. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremenet while we're at it, too. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. 
Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet's no master of disguise, Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So, you are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. You've mentioned several sketchy looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier, so it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. No, when it comes to intelligence gathering, I'd never consider you to be an amateur. Didn't you say it yourself? It's always been your strong suit. I'll believe anything as long as it comes from you. So, please prove your prowess to me once again. All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Let's go our separate ways for now then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. Are you okay? Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do! Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion? <gasps> Could it be poison? Let me take a look. Please lie down over here. Get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. <sighs> you can do it, traveler. Don't apologize. You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. danger. Oh, that's our worst fear out of the way. Eh? Oh, that's good. But... I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please, relax and take a deep breath. Oh, don't sense serious damage to your organs, either. Does it hurt when I press here? Oh, and here? Huh? But based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. Hmm. What about here? Does this hurt? Oh. Hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. 
I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Huh, outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. Congratulations! The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Miss Lorvine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. <sighs> and she hopped away just like that. Hello. So how are you feeling now? 